Yes, it's me, Margaret Vendor here again today. So I've been following closely, reading in the papers, the situation up in Pori Spring, a gentleman named Bang, and you know what has been going on up there with the Town and Country Planning Department telling the people who erected a building up there, a wooden structure, that it can got to come down. Now the community up in arms and people vex. Now the, the member of parliament for St. Thomas has had to get involved too as well. And no doubt she can try to find an accommodation that can make everybody happy. But you see me market vendor, we got a thing about hair so sometimes that got me a little worried. Because it, it seemed to me like somehow there's one set of rules for the Medes and one for the Persians. Some of we believe that it is okay to go and squat on other people's land, go and squat on government land, and then later on you call, cry out loud and talk about Mr. Small and Mr. Blackman and you want everybody to come and help you. And nobody ain't against helping people. But when you see some of the two-story buildings that people put down, wall buildings and things with all the infrastructure, you got to wonder whether it's Mr. Small or Mr. Blackman that really in their buildings. You understand where market coming from? Huh? They're a small man building. But there are rules, people, that we got to follow rules. Huh? We're a country of laws, I keep be, being reminded. So if we keep breaking the laws, we can't expect then somebody to come afterwards and, you know, and just kind of make it go away. Then there's over. If you don't own the land, you got to get permission from the people that own the land. Now, I don't know where the land want to really stand in this, because so far it seems to be a town planning matter got into do with development. And we can't have a situation where everybody do whatever they want to do in Barbados. I feel like setting up a snow cone car. I set it up in the middle of the highway. I want to sell cane around the roundabout. I stop the traffic and I sell the cane. I want to vend it by the highway. I just choose a spot and I go and set up. You understand? You got to have rules. You got to have regulations. You got to have little order. Otherwise, you can have disorder. Now, it is very clear that the gentleman who developed down inside there do a lovely thing with the murals and that kind of stuff. Nobody is disputing that, my brother. Huh? But you can't do it the right way. Because if the land belongs to somebody, that body got an entitlement. It's just like if I had, not that I have them, but suppose a market had six or eight motor cars inside the yard. Would it be all right for you to just come and say, well, he's only drive one of them. Them other five, they just sit down here all day long. I take up one of them and then drive him about my mother car. All about the place. But he ain't using it. Huh? I just, I just borrowing it. I just using it. Cause he really ain't need it. No, it can't work. So, huh? If you got a house uh, and it empty, it's your choice to left it empty. Somebody can't just go and break in it and move in the furniture and decide that them staying in there. It is, that is squatting. And uh, you understand where the market coming from? So we got two things the right way. If you're doing good work in the community, that should be commended. And we're going to support you in that. But you got to follow the rules. Now let me hope that somehow, somewhere, an accommodation will be found on this occasion. And that going forward, the rest of we going to understand that we are a company of laws and rules. And if we don't have that, we're going to get confusion. Mark, you better go for now. But you have a blessed and a wonderful day. You hear? <laughs>